Well, let's keep tracking the consumer because it's the start of Memorial Day weekend. MDW, that's right, sales from all the big retailers are running today until Monday. And in the wake of inflation and supply chain issues, consumers may be especially in search of some of those best deals this year. A recent survey by the Kearney Consumer Institute, or KCI, measured impacts of rising prices. 31% of consumers, as you can see there, said that they felt very impacted. Another survey, also by KCI, asked where customers felt the most price impact of those changes. The top two categories were food, groceries, and then gasoline. And get this, KCI also reports that 68% of consumers would rather wait for a product than pay more for it right now. So Memorial Day weekend might just be what retail needs to bounce back a bit. But will a spike in sales be enough? Let's now bring in Katie Thomas to talk all things Memorial Day weekend. She's a lead at KCI, the people that conducted that survey and study. So Katie, let's just start with a big macro question. Is the American consumer still strong? Yeah, right now, Dom, honestly, it's pretty tricky. We're kind of on a collision course of these inflationary and price impacts and, of course, flowing all impacted by supply chain as well, with also this pent-up demand and revenge spending that, frankly, we've been talking about since the beginning of the pandemic. But in some categories, you're just seeing that start to play through right now. So as you saw there, we're absolutely seeing consumers feel the impact of inflation more in the day-to-day -day category. So food and gas significantly above any other category. And that's where they're really feeling the concern and starting to think about how they can pull back or make trade-offs. On the flip side, they're willing to invest in items still that are things that maybe they haven't been able to do in a while. You just spoke about Ulta posting great results. And beauty is a sector that's doing really well. So it's sort of this interesting collision course of where consumers are willing to spend and where they're starting to hold back. You know, Katie, you mentioned it, 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 it is interesting, right? These spending habits, the, the, the revenge spending thing. We, we've heard a lot more of that is geared now towards experiences and travel as opposed to maybe material things, you know, things that we buy and then hoard around in our house. But <laughs> Macy's made an interesting comment that they are seeing more demand for things like fancy dresses and men's suits as people look to go out, that sort of thing. So take us through a little bit of what that kind of changing landscape is like for retail. And can we expect it to be more medium term as opposed to just a kind of couple quarter phenomenon? Yeah, I think that right now what you're seeing is that, re that revenge spending and that need for a wardrobe refresh. So a lot of us, for a variety of reasons, right, maybe some of what we have in our closet feels a little bit out of date. Maybe it doesn't fit the same way it used to. So we are seeing people want to get out. It's beauty. It's apparel. It, and it certainly is travel. It's for those trips, for the weddings that, that folks had held, held off on. The one thing I would watch out for is making too many assumptions that behaviors from the pandemic will stick. I think that's some of what we've seen actually peel back pretty quickly. So you've seen the impact with streaming services, categories such as plant-based meat, you know, uh, fitness bikes. And so I think we do want to make the assumption that consumers are eager to get out of their house right now and spend their money on something that they weren't able to do during the pandemic or didn't feel like was a good use of funds. I mean, you can even look at the stock reaction in companies like Peloton or Zoom, right, during the kind of peak of the pandemic kind of versus where they are right now. Investors are already kind of starting to see that. I, I wonder, you mentioned that whole idea of, of food and groceries and gasoline, fuel prices being the main drivers of things. We got some uh, at least results out from another study put out by AAA projecting what traffic and miles traveled will be like this Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be like an eight plus percent bump over last year, the best in a couple years since the pandemic started. Does that mean that consumers, despite the fact that they are worrying about gasoline prices, are willing to shake it off for that revenge travel spend? Yes, in large part, I would say it does, Don, because as we, we've seen throughout the pandemic that consumer sentiment numbers were frankly worse than the actual retail numbers. And it's similar here. You're seeing consumers feel about inflation. They're feeling stressed about inflation. But when you talk to them directly, they're still willing to spend. And that's the interesting part. Like, I feel like I've still been cooped up into my house for a couple years. I want to get out and see my family. And all of that stuff is still flowing out. 
it's really the back half of the year that, you know, once we get through summer and some of these really first seasons of reemergence, I think that's when we'll keep an eye on consumers feeling the impact of inflation across the whole wallet. Um, right now, we're still laughing some of the complexity of the pandemic.